He has an uncanny ability to communicate with nature and an unbelievable insight into the future. He is Jacques Fresco, self-described social engineer whose sole purpose is to make our planet a better place. Well, I remember as a kid, uh, during the Depression, my father, being an agronomist, was one of the first guys laid off. And he really tried to get a job. He tried very hard, and he couldn't. And uh, the family was threatened, and there was no provisions for that kind of condition. And I remember seeing millions of Americans displaced and children riding freight trains across the country. They were good kids. They came from good families, and they, they just couldn't make it. And as a kid, I remember seeing all that. I found those conditions completely unacceptable. And as a kid, I said, this country can be potentially fantastic. Jacques has certainly done his part to make this country great. He was the original inventor of the automotive airbag. He's designed transportation systems that run on electromagnetics, which would not only eliminate automotive pollution, but save thousands of lives each year. He's designed entire cities of the future that would exist in perfect harmony with a sensitive environment. But what makes Jacques so extraordinary is his ability not just to dream, but to achieve. Longtime associate, Roxanne Meadows. Well, there's a lot of people that talk about the future in flowery words and describe what the future should be like and what it shouldn't be like. But Jack's really the only person I've ever met who can actually build these things. He's not just a literary person. He's a, he can technically build all these things that he talks about. It's neither communistic nor socialistic nor free enterprise. No system remains static. The kings, most of them are gone and newer systems are coming in. No system can freeze and hold their particular position. We are moving into a system, and I call it Project Americana, in which we deal with the rest of the world without military systems. Some may consider Jacques Fresco a dreamer, and perhaps to some degree he is. But as Henry Ford once said, where would we be without the dreamers? Reporting from Venus, Florida, I'm close-up reporter Long John Bafar.